Hey everyone, welcome to a new series that I'm beginning. This is going to be a freelance vlog series. So it's going to be kind of raw, kind of natural. And basically I'm, I'm, I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes um, with me on, on, on jobs. Or I'm just going to kind of show you what my life is like as a freelance filmmaker, a freelance, an aspiring freelance DOP. Uh, slash camera operator. Yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along by documenting the journey and, and sharing it with you. I'm in my first year freelancing technically full time. So it's super early days for me. And at the same time, kind of exciting because, you know, everything's fresh, everything. I'm learning so much all the time. So I want to share this journey with you. I want to bring you along kind of Hope, and hopefully you can kind of learn from some of the mistakes I may make uh, or some of the lessons I may learn along the way. So I want to give a shout out to Moorfield Visuals, David Moorfield and the Cranky Cameraman because i got to give them credit. These guys are the ones who inspired me to create this kind of video format. Props to those guys. They're doing great things right now um, and you should definitely check them out as well. But I want to kind of share my perspective because I think everyone has their own perspective. And I feel like the unique thing that I bring to the table is I'm obviously based in London in the UK. So I bring the perspective of uh, someone who is working within the, the UK film and video industry. Um, and I don't know if anyone else, anyone else in the UK is doing this style of video yet. So I may be the first, dare I say it. Um, so hopefully that's interesting for you guys. And, you know, while this series will be focusing on a lot on the, the business aspects of being a freelance filmmaker, I also want to kind of bring a, a creative side to the table as well, because that is first and foremost what I am, a creative, I hate that word, but that's what I am, um, an artist, first and foremost, to be honest. Um, I've learned business, I've had to learn it as I've got into this game, but the artistry, the, the creativity uh, and the storytelling is really what I love about filmmaking and that's why I do it. And I want to share tips within this series on those those things as well, not just the business sides. So stick around and I hope you enjoy the journey. Good morning. Today we are heading off to Bournemouth here in the UK to film a brand video for a non-profit over there um it's about a two hour two and a half hour drive um so packing up the car now as you can see you know standard doing the, the thing we all have to do before shoots gotta love it gotta love the grind As a filmmaker, I work across branded, commercial, corporate, live streaming and narrative projects. So I do quite a whole load of different things, um, which is nice because each day is different. So for this project, we are going to be shooting pretty much standard corporate interview kind of setups infused with, with B-roll. Yeah, standard kind of brand film, docu-style kind of thing. I'm here with Billy, a friend of mine. Um, we often work together on various projects. He's uh, b camming for me and also just generally assisting on the shoot. The charity that we're shooting for is um, a Christian organization. And what they do is essentially they're a Christian hotel. So they're a place for people to visit when they're kind of just too busy with life. Just a place where you can rejuvenate and relax. So we are shooting with my Blackmagic Pocket 6K. Yep, I'm a Blackmagic guy, I love it. Dynamic range, the quality is everything for me. Billy is shooting with his Sony cam on the gimbal. Yes, it's an interesting combination, um, but we've done this before in the past and I have been able to match it pretty well in the grade when it comes to interview setups. Right now we're just capturing some drone shots of the facilities. It's always good getting drone shots to kind of establish where you are, uh, especially for documentary style content. Uh, I think it's really helpful. We're using the DJI Mini 3 Pro. It's a really nice little drone, great quality, shoots in 4K. And yeah, now we're done with day one. 
So we've just hit the beach, grabbed some fish and chips, which if you've never been to the UK before, fish and chips is a classic thing you gotta get. day two we're back at the beach again in the daytime yeah we're getting some drone shots of Bournemouth Beach the client wanted to show a case to the audience that there are plenty of beaches nearby to their facilities a um, bit of an extra incentive for people to visit so that's what we're doing So we're filming shots on the beach. Billy's getting the drone bits in the sky. I'm getting some ground shots. And as we're doing that, a lifeguard comes over and says that we can't film on the beach. Um, the drone wasn't having any issues. It's it's a DJI Mini 3, so it doesn't. Uh, you don't need to get permission in certain areas. But yeah, apparently we couldn't get the shots. So we move over to a different beach and get the shots there. Now we are filming interviews with various staff members at the organisation. In terms of lighting, we have a small rig, 220 uh, watt as the key light with a softbox on it. And then we have a Aperture MC just as a hair light and some nice practicals in the background, which is always good. And we are wrapped on our Bournemouth shoot. So now we're heading back home and we'll shortly get into post-production for this brand film. It is a new day and today I am heading off to a live streaming shoot. Classic hipsters in the morning with their coffees. Um, so today I'm going to be working with a friend of mine, Phil, who I've worked with multiple times on different li in different live stream scenarios. We're live streaming a funeral today in East London. Um, and yeah, it's going to be an interesting experience. So yeah, today is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm camera operating for a live stream. Um, so I'll be basically in charge of everything camera related. There's Phil actually. And Phil is going to be in charge of the vision mixing. So switching between cameras. We'll be communicating via headset. And um, yeah, it should be cool. I do enjoy live stream camera operating because you have to be very intuitive, very quick on your feet. Um, and so the adrenaline is always running when you're doing these kind of shoots. Live streaming is one of those things that it's quite hard to get into. Um, and so I've been quite fortunate where I've, I've had a lot of experience live streaming at my old church, camera operating on Sunday services. It was a very safe environment for me to learn and grow. And now doing quite a few live streams with Phil, I feel we both got to a point where we're very comfortable in, in any kind of scenario that we get thrown, thrown at us. And yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident now when it comes to live stream cam up in. Yeah, we streamed the funeral yeah. uh, for the friends and family. Yeah. And now we're going to the graveside for the burial. Essentially, we've just had to, we were all set up in the church, all plugged in and everything, and mid-service of the memorial, yeah. we've had to pack up, rush out, the ATEM switch is still streaming. Yeah, still, still, lot, still in live, the back, in, in the, the boot. boot. <laughs> we're broadcasting live from the boot. Yeah, and <laughs> now we're heading to the crematorium to do the, uh, the burial yeah. of, the, yeah. of the service. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. So. It's definitely going to be interesting. <laughs> I couldn't really film too much behind the scenes uh, um, in the church because I want to respect the privacy of the family. But now we're heading over to the cemetery to film the graveside burial. Today for this shoot, we were rocking two Sony FS5 cams. Uh, on one of the cameras, we had a standard Sony kit lens. Uh, this camera was mostly capturing wide shots. And on the B cam, which I was generally operating on, we had a 70 to 300 millimeter telephoto lens. And this was to capture all kinds of tighter close-up shots of family members. As you can see from this still image here, uh, this is Phil by the car. And in the boot of the car is where he was basically vision mixing the outdoor scenes. So in the boot, you've got the Blackmagic A10 Mini, um, and all of his kit <laughs> to broadcast the stream and switch between the different cameras. And that long SDI cable is running into my cameras, which are by the graveside. 
so yeah, definitely an interesting setup, but we made it work. And after a bit of a hustle filming outdoors, the event came to an end. It's always good fun working with Phil. Um, I think because of the amount of live streaming shoots we've done together now, we've built up a really good chemistry. We actually received some really nice feedback as well on the stream. Uh, people were saying it looked really good. So yeah, that's always great to hear. And it feels like they were really immersed into the event. So we are now coming to an end of episode one of this freelance vlog series. Um, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, if you're still here watching, my question for you is, what is your preferred camera package and why? Let me know in the comments. Thank you, guys.